My name's Amata, and in this Red Gamer Tech video, I am having a look at Okami HD, the PC version to be exact. Just a bit of a disclaimer before we begin, I'm going to be focusing on the actual PC port comments rather than commenting on too much of the game itself. I, of course, will show you a little bit of the game, but I am mostly going to be focusing on the actual PC version itself. So, let's have a look at the options. We, of course, have camera control with its usual array of invert X or Y axis and of course invert X and Y axes. We also have sound settings of course. Now this is actually quite important that we have a separate voice slider because the voices in this game are a point of a little contention in this game and you'll see why when I actually show you that particular sound or the sounds to be more exact later on in the video. However, you can, of course, tweak the music and background sounds as you so desire, but I would leave the music as it is because the music in this game is amazing. And we also have original settings, which has aspect ratio and a mini game, which you should remember if you played the PS2 version of the game. It basically, you can fill the screen with paw prints and you get a demon fang, which is a drop which you can use to trade for really good gear and treasure. So let's move on to the most important thing in any PC version, which of course is display. Now as you can see here, I am recording at 1080p for the purposes of this video, but you can actually get it above 1080p, it doesn't look like it, because at the moment, at the time of recording, I am actually recording with virtual super resolution enabled, which is obviously the thing that allows you to down sample when using AMD, but as you can see, I can't go above 1080p. Um, it's a little bit of a dirty fix, and I did see it on the Steam community for the Okami HD page on Steam, so obviously on Steam, duh. So thanks to those guys for being helpful to me. Basically what you have to do is, once you've enabled Virtual Super Resolution, you basically have to set your desktop resolution to 1440p or 4K, whatever your choice happens to be, and then you can just select it within Okami as long as you have it set to full screen or borderless window. A little bit of a you know, filthy workaround, but hey, it works, and I did test it, it works just fine, it is actually 1440p, it's not just like tricking you into being 1440p, it is actually 1440p, and it looks stunning. Now we also have controller settings, and you can rebind your keys, uh, it's greyed out at the moment because I am actually using a controller, but if I were to select with the keyboard, you can actually rebind the keys as you would expect. It plays just fine on the keyboard, to be honest, but I'll get into that in the gameplay segment. I'm personally using a controller, just because that's my personal preference. So, let's get into the game, shall we? Sorry, just a little bit of a sample there of the voices, but I will show you a different area so you can get a true feel for how beautiful this game truly is. Now, I will say that I loved this game when it was you know, on the PS2 in like 480i, so to play, be playing it in 1440p or 1080p as I am at the moment, is a real joy, a real pleasure. I feel like, honestly, I'm playing the game as it should have always been played, and that it, this is like it fully realized to their original vision. However, of course, there is a bit of an elephant in the room, which is none other than the 30 FPS lock, which I have discussed in a previous news video. Now, obviously, this is a real shame, and I was disappointed by that news. I'm not going to lie to you and say that I wasn't. But I wasn't really surprised either, because as I just said, this game originally came out in 2006, was remade for the PS3, and this is a port of the PS3 remake. So the original game is ancient, you know, it's over 10 years old, and back then they did a lot of stuff tied to frame rate, like logic and animations and that sort of stuff. So I'm not really surprised to see that Capcom decided, you know what, this is going to basically take us recoding a lot of stuff, it isn't worth it for a game that... Never sold brilliantly when it originally came out, and obviously this is a re-release of that game. So I hope some enterprising modder comes along and you know fixes it, give us you know either 60 or unlocked frame rate. Obviously unlocked would be better, but you know I'll I'll take just 60 to be honest. But in my personal opinion, 30 FPS is not enough to stop this game from being an absolute joy to play. Now that is a very personal opinion. Obviously for some people. It being locked at 30 is an absolute deal breaker. Obviously, you have to decide for yourself. For me, I would say like this game is such a joy to play. It doesn't really matter. I mean, yes, it, it obviously would be better. I would love it if some modder came along and was like, hey, yeah, bing, there you go. But as it is, I'm just happy this game is on PC. Happy to be playing it at 1440p and just, just enjoying the 
breadth and beauty and depth of this game. So, personally, I think this is a pretty decent PC version. There is a couple of oddities. You know, obviously there is the the, the big one, the fact that it's locked at 30. But there's also the fact that you can't actually change the resolution once you're in the game. You can only change the graphics settings. But you have to go back to the main menu and then you can change the resolution. A bit of a strange niggle, I guess. But it is really irritating if for some reason the game decides to launch. Or it happened to me the other day. Uh, suddenly it just decided it wanted to be a, uh, not full screen anymore. And I had to come out of the game to then reset it to full screen. Uh, I think something popped up in the background on my PC. It was nothing to do with the game. And then, uh, obviously, I had to go and refix it. You know, a very minor sort of first world problem. Like, oh no, I had to spend an extra minute going back to the menu and then coming back. But obviously, it is annoying to have to go through two loading screens to do that when it's like, oh, okay, I, I want it higher or lower or whatever it happens to be. So, overall, my thoughts are pretty damn positive on this game. As I said, it's perfectly playable on keyboard and mouse. Some would argue that using the Celestial Brush is the like premium way to play this game but personally i've been playing this on controller because this has been my lie in bed and relax after work game so i don't really want to be sitting at my desk for that to be honest but it is more than playable on um, keyboard and mouse and obviously it does support steam controller as well but i haven't got a steam controller so i can't comment on how that actually works with this particular game but i've not heard any reports of any issues you know, again, apart from the 30 FPS log and the couple of niggles that I have mentioned with the issues with the full screen and the menu options that I just said, this game runs. Sorry, is a perfectly fine PC version. It runs solidly at 30, but you know, it's not hardly surprising. It's not the game is not exactly demanding. Um, so yeah, it's entirely up to you whether or not the 60 FPS. No, sorry, no 60 FPS option. Excuse me, is a deal breaker. Hopefully, we do get that option. Some, at some point, but I'll, I'm happy just to play this game again at a higher resolution to be honest, because it's still a joy to play despite that, so overall I am fairly happy with the PC version obviously could use some improvements with the frame rate and a few little tweaks here and there but other than that it is pretty damn good and I would recommend this game to everyone, especially if you like Gears Elders and your adventure games anyway, that's me done, thanks for watching bye bye